it's becoming more like a plane. It's becoming more like a plane in terms of all the communication navigation systems that you have. And also, it's a hybrid between a, a, pl a plane's cockpit and a living room. The comfort of your couch, the lean back experience. Is that what, what went through your... Well, it's actually a fantastic question because we, we actually, we say two things at Ford. One is the car is the ultimate mobile device. So being able to connect, being able to have that totally seamless user experience is critically important. But in terms of the environment we create, what we coin is the term a second home on wheels. Second home on wheels, second office on wheels. It's a very comfortable place to be, great materials, great craftsmanship co-branding with familiar partners like Sony, like Microsoft, THX in our Lincoln vehicles to really create that very familiar environment. So vehicles that are connected, vehicles that are comfortable, vehicles that really create an environment that you want to be in. To go with great driving character, to go with safety, clean technologies in terms of fuel economy, and emissions, and just a whole bunch of smart feature and technology, smart content in the vehicle. Moving ahead with the sensorization, mm -hmm. you know, uh, becoming a big uh, uh, trend, right. uh, the cars are going to be increasingly embedded with all kinds of sensors. Yep. An iPhone, for instance, says I don't know how many sensors. Yep. Um, are you moving in that direction and then marrying that with the software and making it all work? So, what, what we offer is the opportunity to interface seamlessly with the vehicle, so to bring your mobile device in, port in through Bluetooth or USB, and then seamlessly interface through our HMI, human machine interface, the touch screen, the capacitive sensing, the steering wheel controls. How are other automobile companies placed in this space? Well, we feel we're in a leadership position and uh, intend to, to stay in a leadership position. And is this going to be rolled out in uh, different countries or is US the first country where it's going to be rolled US out? US is the first country. Um, we launched my Ford Touch with the Edge, the Ford Edge and the Lincoln MKX uh, vehicle last year. With our new Focus, uh, which we're just in the process of launching, we'll take my Ford Touch to Europe and the other global markets and then from there we'll roll it out across our vehicles. And would there be any protocol problems or any kind of software issues? No, there are differences. Languages obviously is one of the, the big areas that we have to work on and uh, we have multiple languages. Um, more, more than I more than I care to remember, but multiple languages is probably... Multiple languages, so you're using Nuance for your speech recognition? We use Nuance as our speech engine, yeah. Does Nuance port very well in other languages, you know? Yeah, they do, and um, I say it's a full suite of languages. Um, everything from the uh, European languages to some of the Asian languages. It's a great time for us. It must be fun driving all these cars. It is fun driving all these cars. Thank you. Thanks.